never get enough track oh! Oh! These tips are fucking sick. Yo, what's good? Thursday classic, what's good? Welcome, it's 8 8 19. Welcome to the Daily Show, Dunk Life Daily. What's good? Today is none other than Dunk Day. We're dunking today. I actually dunked a little bit yesterday. Whoa. Um, played some pickup. Almost caught a game dunk, actually, on the 10 foot rim. Haven't done that yet. That's my current goals right now. Stay tuned for the vlog after today's Dunk Day. It's going to be a mega vlog because I have like two other days yesterday and the day I got back from vacation. So it's going to be three days of dunks in one. Going to make a whole story time with it. Plus, if you're looking at the podcast right now, I got this Colombian coffee I've yet to drink. Yes, this is me without coffee yet. And I'm super pumped. I got a hand grinder. So spoiler alert, that's also going to be part of the vlog. Uh, Me making hand ground Colombian whole bean coffee with the French press, if that's a good method. I'm going to try it anyway with the hand grinder. Of course, of course, because you don't want it too fine because it goes right through the French press. You want it to be good. I'm going to sip it on camera for the first time. I want it. Can't wait. I wanted to do it for the podcast. I just don't have time. I wanted to do it after. I also want to make a vlog about it so I can't make a vlog first. You know what I'm saying? Well, it's good. Happy Thursday. Let's get it. Um, Today, I'm, I'm in the midst of my little dunk series, dunk tip series, top five dunk tips, which is today is all about jump technique and planting. Yesterday was how to start your training. I think it went really well. After I uh, talked to a bunch of people, they saw that video. They're like, oh, it's perfect timing. This is exactly what I needed. I've done this in the past. I've talked about dunk training a lot on my podcast, but it was called something different. It was terrible setup. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning. I'm trying to be a creator. You know what I'm saying? Also, before I forget, I'm, I got this CBD pain gel on my back right now, warming it up before I go dunk. And I also, if you notice this, who noticed this before I pointed it out? CBD drops. Seven Point Naturals, the company sent me some. It's really good stuff. I'm actually loving it. So I've actually wanted coffee and CBD um, for my podcast. This is actually kind of like a, a visualization coming true. I got both, but one I bought, one was sent to me. Point is, if you want the CBD, 15% off using code DUNKLIFE. Link in the description, Seven Point Naturals. Good stuff. I'm, I'm looking forward to trying other companies as well, and I'll let you know which is um, which one I like so far. This is my first one, but I actually really like it. I've been wanting it. It's good for your body, good for anti-inflammatory calories. You know, sleep is my priority. I wrote this down in my notes. Dunk life is a priority, but the first step in dunk life is sleep. I go to sleep early, but everything revolves around my sleep. If I'm editing a video, nope, I got to get to bed on time. Everything is about sleep first, and uh, CBD actually helps you sleep a little better. So I'm excited for that. So I've always wanted to make it part of my daily routine, daily dunk life. If you got daily shit to send me, send me shit. My PO box is below, actually. You guys even know that? Okay, let's get to it. What's good? Um, jump technique. Oh, last thing I got to say before jump technique, my 10 terabyte hard drive came in today from Amazon. I had to get another one. Too much goddamn content, my God. So I got to do a work. That's another reason why the vlog is late. Nobody cares, but I want to express. This is my chance to express myself, Okay. Jump technique, jump plants. I'm predominantly right left. I get this question so much. So if you ask me this and I sent you here, here you are. Why did I switch from left right to right left? Um, I'm going to tell you this story just because I think it's helpful in your journey. Um, When I first started, right left was definitely my natural plant. If you go back to my very first video, day one, um, that's what I did. That's I went right left. It was just natural for me. I attacked the rim. It was the first time I hung off the rim was off right left, but I also did one foot. Those were both natural. One foot was I played a lot of games and I always did layoffs off one foot. I never did two foot. So that's why my first dunk was off one foot. Um, and then as I'm training and I started lifting a lot more and jumping a lot more, um, since my left leg was dominant from going off my left leg because I'm a right hander on layups, I have no left hand because I'm suck, um, which I'm actually working on now. My left leg was dominant. I saw people like Jordan Kilgannon back in the day. This was like seven, eight years ago, jumping left, right. I'm like, oh, I didn't know you can even jump. I never even thought to try another plant. I tried that other plant left, right, and I got like an instant inch increase, meaning I jumped higher off left, right than my right, left. And that was only, I think, because my my left was so dominantly strong because I mainly jumped off that one. Um, but then I, at that point, this was a mistake I made. I was just chasing vertical. I wasn't chasing a strong foundation. That's why yesterday when I talked about how to start training, it was all about foundation because that came back to haunt me. I was chasing that next vertical. My form wasn't good left, right. I started building bad, bad habits. My foot would turn outwards. It wasn't a solid plant. My right left was always naturally very solid, very perfect footwork and takeoff and all that stuff. So later down the line, 
uh, left, right was getting higher. I was improving, but my footwork was so bad. It was hurting my knee. It felt like I was tweaking it. It felt like 50, 50 jumps. Like sometimes I'd have a regular jump. Sometimes I would jump so hard that it would just like tweak and and nothing would happen. I wouldn't even get up. So I was like, I tried to fix that technique and it was so much harder to fix. Then I'm like, you know what? Let me just switch to right, left, take a hit for a couple months or two to like get my right, left to catch up to my right, left. And I'll have perfect form and I can jump every angle, every which way without having to think about it. And that's what I did. And I still want to incorporate left, right. It's just still, I'm still struggling with that footwork. It's just not as natural. It is natural attacking the rim left, right. But my footwork just doesn't come naturally. One tip to figure out which plant you are, stand and have somebody just push you and see which foot you fall back on. And that'll be your back foot. So for me, it's like I learned that trick from snowboarding, I think, one time when I went snowboarding or skateboarding. You push and you... If you fall back, my, my right leg would go back just naturally. So that means I should stand with my left foot in front of my right foot back on a skateboard or a snowboard. Goofy. I'm goofy. Who would have thunk? And so uh, that's one way to check which plant you are. I don't know if that really helps with jumping, but it's just something to try. But my best advice if you're trying right now is practice both. Go with what feels natural. It doesn't matter which hand you use. If you're right, left, and you want to use your right or your left, it doesn't matter. People say, I'm a right hand dunker. Shouldn't I use this plant? Doesn't matter at all. Look at me. I'm pretty good off right, left. Um, look at Isaiah and Jordan. They're both left, right. CJ's like me. He's, he kills it on, on his, um, I don't know. I came up with this in another podcast. Look it up and tell me what I said. I don't even remember. I came up with naming those plants. We should call them something. Just like skateboarding has regular and goofy. Maybe this podcast could get it started. But if you guys go do research and figure out what, that, what I called it in the other podcast, I think I called it switching plants or naming plants or a new idea, something like that. I'll love you and I will shout you out a hundred percent. But yeah, I, we should definitely name the plants. Point is, doesn't matter which hand you're using, um, practice both. And then for the basics, I actually have a video on how to jump off two feet, but I'll go over the basics now. Definitely look up how to jump off two feet to dunk. It was a really good breakdown I had with video and analysis of how to jump off. We really detailed, but I'll give you the basics. You want to always accelerate into your plant. You want to, you don't want to like be running fast and slow down for your, your plants. And you want a long penultimate step where, and the penultimate step is this. So for, so for me, I'm right, left. So my penultimate is me stepping off my left, reaching my right foot out in front. That step where I reach my right foot out in front and it's really long. If you watch me, sometimes it's almost from the friggin' foul, uh, foul line. It's really long. That's your penultimate step. That should be really long. And what that does is that's the step that converts your motion into your upward motion. So your running motion into your upward motion. You want that to be long. And then you want that also, since it's so long, it kind of lowers your body. And then you, your last two steps are almost simultaneous. Like, you don't want to like jump on them. Like Justin Darlington, if you've seen him, he's like an outlier. He's an anomaly. He kind of like jumps on both feet. You don't want to jump onto your feet. You want like a really long, exaggerated step where you kind of come off the ground from your, from your back foot, but you're not jumping into your plant. You don't want to jump into your plant. You want to step into it. Think of it like a really big step. And then your last two steps are as quick as possible. And then next, after those two steps are so quick, the whole time you want to keep your chest really high and keep your eyes really high because you want your torso upwards. You don't want to lean forwards too much. That's a problem I had with my Vertec. Um, even though I was looking for the Vertec, I came down a lot forwards. I, I leaned forwards a lot. And that's why my lobs are so good because a, a lot of times when I throw a lob, it bounces so high and it's a little bit behind me that when I go to jump, I'm already like thinking of going backwards to reach for it, that it's keeping my chest super high and my chin up. Everything's, my whole torso staying upright. So you want to load your hips by lowering your entire body with the penultimate step, but you want to make sure you keep your chest really high. And those are the basic tips for, um, for two foot. And then one foot, the same thing you want to lower, you want to lower down off your penultimate, you st- same thing. And it's the same, um, concept is that you want to take off quick. You want your last two steps to be the quickest. So you're, you're accelerating into it. And then it's like, do, 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 do. <laughs> that makes sense. But you just don't want to slow down is the point. And you don't want to stutter step in your approach. So one foot, go through it and take off. And you really want knee drive. That's the one thing I've noticed about mine. That's terrible is you really want knee drive. Um, Make sure you get knee drive and a tip with the ball in your hand is like if you're a righty like me, bring it to your left hip. If you're looking at the podcast, you can see me. And then when you take off and you do that knee drive, you can swing it up a little bit. So, yeah, Um, one foot is not my specialty, but it is the same type of concept. You do want to accelerate. You want to get some arm swing. You want to stay upright. You don't want to lean too far back. You want to like stay over your plants and you don't want to lean too forward. So just check yourself, record yourself and try to mimic over um, 
good jumpers. Just watch good jumpers and try to uh, compare what you're doing. The biggest thing that I see is that people aren't doing the big enough penultimate step. If you see me, I'm like a speed jumper off two feet. So I come in with a ton of speed. I actually had to slow down. And the other thing about jumping is you want to have an optimal speed. You don't want to, um, sorry, I'm just making sure I don't forget anything. Uh, where is it? You want to have an, where is my, where was I? Okay. You want to have an optimal speed. So for me, when I see people that are like not using their approach, Chi is a great example. He's crazy off vert, right? But then he doesn't have a good approach. That's because he's not connecting the two. He's not connecting his jump and his approach. And that to me, the link is the penultimate step. That's why if you go watch that video with Chi, it was fucking insane video. Um, I had him take like one step away from the hoop and this, I'm telling you this story. So you could try this example for yourself. If you're having trouble using a full approach, um, step away from the basket and just take a big penultimate, like basically a drop step and try to jump as hard as you can and really try to make that really fast. Cause a lot of people don't have a good penultimate. They have like a small one or it's like not fast. Um, so just practice that first. So practice vert jumps practice one step drop steps where you're really exaggerating that penultimate and like take a giant step and jump quick and then add one more step. So one step into your penultimate and then two steps into your penultimate. And that's how I tell everyone to work on their plant, whatever plant you want to work on, start with the vert jumps. Um, if you can't do the full approach, a full approach is for me was the opposite. I was way better off full approach because I just was naturally running, go unconscious, go brain dead and fucking just go get the ball. Um, but start with one step, work on that penultimate, make sure it's big. It should feel comfortable, stay upright. And that's pretty much it. That's your dunk plants. And I'm done. That's it. If you have questions, you know, I answer all of them for now until I skyrocket until, um, Pablo Escobar and his family, sponsor me for Colombian coffee. And next thing you know, I'm a billionaire. Okay. So here we go. Uh, on this day in history, your favorite part, I got to keep a little bit of life in this. I can't just do all dunks, you know, because this is my show. Okay. It's my show. Don't forget it. Who am I talking to? Everyone. What's happening? Okay. 1509. Emperor Krishna Deva Raya is crowned, marking the beginning of the regeneration of the Vijan Yanagara empire in Southern India. Thank God. Who would have thunk? 1609, Venetian Senate examines Galileo's Galilei's telescope. Galileo Galilei's telescope. I thought it was just Galileo. I thought it had a different name, and then it's Galileo Galilei. Dude, that telescope, bro, um, think about that. There was um, one really cool story about, I think it was Galileo. He was an artist, so he understood shadows. So using his telescope, he understood shadows that he saw on the moon or a planet, I forget, and since he was an artist, he knew that there was sh- those were shadows. They weren't like holes or something. So he knew that the- he predicted or he knew that there was mountains on the moon or whatever he was looking at. How insane is that? Point is, your creative stuff helps the advancement of the human race. Go creative. I love that. I think that's right. Double check me on that. Today in film, 1939, Seventh Venice Film Festival <laughs> opens with the United States boycott due to Benito Mussolini's fa- fascist, fascist Italian regime. Great. Um, today in music, 1992, Metallica band member James Hetfield suffers second and third degree burns during a pyrotechnics explosion on stage. Yo, he got too hot. Today in sport, 1900, first International Lawn Tennis Challenge Cup What begins at Longwood Cricket Club, Massachusetts 3-0. Okay, great. Really good ones today. Uh, make day, everyday histories. Every day is possible to make history. We all make history every day. Make sure you make it Thursday. All right, Dunk Life of the day. Where are we at? Let's see. This guy never mind you. So it's Dunk Life. I like that. Um, ooh, ooh, ooh. Miran Makuzmik said sack. Oh, yeah, my uh, my reviews. I asked you to guys to get in the Ponzi scheme early. Help me with reviewing my podcast. It helps me out. But you guys get in early and you get in on the joke and you enjoy more. So let's see. Podcast. Let's see. Oh my God, I have new ones. Oh yeah, CP number five. Five stars, baby. Hilarious and inspiring. Energy, mom rules, F-bombs, randomly awesome, toodaloo. <laughs> I thought it said toodaloo as in uh, um, like skip to my loo because he, he wrote it with a number two, D-A, and then the loo, L-O-U. So I thought it was like skip to my loo, but when I read it fast, it, toodaloo. <laughs> I spell it with a T, like with letters, like a normal person. J. Bryant, 99, best podcast ever. Is this even real life? Listening to Steven talk in the morning is the best and only way to live. He brings that energy. The tangents he goes on are hilarious, and he knows everything about dunking. Don't even try to listen to anything else. This is it, Chief. My dude, that's hilarious. Thank you guys so much. Again, 
Bro, I'm your goddamn alarm clock, bro. Without me, I, I, you're going to have withdrawals if I stop. Like, I have withdrawals with coffee. I literally have coffee headaches. It caught up to me from Columbia. I have something six cups, cups a day every morning, and I, I literally feel it now that I'm having this cup because it's fucking, I have to. It's a whole bean. But after this cup and after today's dunk session when I go bonkers, I'm literally going to take a break from coffee for the weekend for like three days because I, I'm waking up with headaches and going to sleep with headaches because I'm having actual withdrawals. And it's not fun. So help me out. My point is, help me out. I'm I'm putting all this energy out there. Help me out. Buy some shit. Fucking rate this shit. You easy stuff. Throw a comment on it. Do whatever you want. Tomorrow's top five tip is stre- phases. So phases of training, strength phases, power phases, little tips. I don't even know what I'm gonna say, bro. I just fucking wing it. Let's go. Uh-huh. All right. Stay tuned for the Dunk Life Daily fucking podcast. No, Dunk Life vlog. You know what's good. You know fucking what's good. Oh, you guys know, know the best. Long ass podcast. Let's go. Dunking today. Stay effing tuned. Toodaloo. That's dunk life. Oh, that's the anthem right there. Tried to make an intro, ended up making an anthem. Oh.